So other instances of also virtuosity, but exploring the instrument's mechanics, is a piece called Toying that I wrote in 2012 for a solo trumpet. Um, this piece was written for a concert um, by the, the group Le Train Bleu. Um, that's, it was going to be a whole concert based on toys, so different pieces inspired by toys. So they asked me to write a piece inspired by toys. So each movement is inspired by a different toy, of a toy soldier, a ventriloquist, doing kind of jazzy plunger mute things. Um, and this movement um, is a wind-up, so it's inspired by a wind-up toy. So I thought of winding the toy up and then placing it on the ground and watching it stupidly and gleefully totter around and bump into a wall, and you wind it up again, place it down, and it uh, toddles around again until it f bumps away into something, and then kind of takes on a, a little mischievous life of its own and unwinds completely at the end. So for this, um, I took the trumpet, and um, here I have one. So I took the trumpet and um, put a practice mute in it to make it very soft. So this is a trumpet without the practice mute. Woo. Put this on the ground. Um. <laughs> So then I unscrewed the first valve cap. So when you do this, it makes a little clicking sound. And um, it happens only when this first valve is put up. So in the piece, I, um, as you can see here, there's a line for the valve clicks and a line for the trumpet. So I've refingered a lot of the trumpet parts, which is very hard for the poor trumpet player. But um, um, so that I can get the consistent rhythm that I want with changing notes. So um, it's, he's asked, to, the performer, he or she is asked to perform with a, a microphone. So it sounds a little like. Like that. So I'll, I haven't worked it up completely, but I'll let Hugo Moreno play it for you here. <laughs> 